Thank you. New this morning, two hours after the attack on the U.S. consulate in Libya, the White House knew Islamic militants were taking credit for it. That's according to the State Department emails obtained by CNN. Minutes after the attack began, the White House and the Pentagon were alerted that the consulate was under attack with heavy rockets and gunfire. The U.S. ambassador and three other diplomats were killed in that attack on the 9-11 anniversary. It's become a big issue in the election, too. Mitt Romney slammed the president, saying he sent mixed messages on the attack. President Obama did refer to it as an act of terror the day afterward. But the White House also suggested for more than a week that the attack may have been a protest that got out of hand. A CNN foreign affairs reporter talked about what was known that night. This was sent out, it seems, by the State Department Operations Center. So this went to the White House Situation Room. Many officials at the White House, FBI, Pentagon, CIA, many different agencies. I don't think President Obama or Vice President Biden would have gotten these messages per se, but certainly the president and the vice president were briefed that night. And certainly this claim of responsibility, um, the idea that there were armed militants, I'm sure that they were notified that night. Um, about what was going on, but what the assessment was, what the intelligence was about how this attack came to be. Was it pre-planned? Was there a protest? These are the kind of things that shook out over the coming days. So what impact will this have less than two weeks now before the election? There's no comment so far from the White House.